vegetarian diet is encouraged in this 7,000-year science called yoga. The physical reasons are there are better sources of protein than meat. Although meat is a good source, there are sources that are better. The soya bean products, all the nuts are very high in protein, although a little on the fattening side. Meat also brings cholesterol and fat into the body. When eaten in excess, it tends to clog the blood vessels around the heart, creates hypertension, and then eventually it moves toward the number one killer in the world, heart disease. That claims more lives for both men and women than any other disease. Number two in taking lives is cancer. But number one is heart disease. It's less difficult and less complex to consume non-meat protein. Some people may think that you can't live uh, without uh, meat. Uh, this is a grand mistake. I have been a strict vegetarian for 50 years. Half a century, I have had no flesh at all. Three. The spiritual reason for vegetarian diet is the practice of nonviolence. All living things actually want to live and do not want to die, and this includes animals. If you go to a slaughterhouse and see what is going on there, you would rather be quite shocked. In fact, you probably couldn't handle it very long at all. You'd have to leave because what you would see, what you would smell, and what you would hear, you would find quite upsetting. And we generally don't identify so much with the animal. We buy little packages uh, that have meat in it with cellophane, and it's just a piece of meat. Generally, yoga would recommend reduce the intake of meat. In countries where meat consumption is very high, heart disease is also high. Most doctors here in this culture, after you have had heart disease or heart surgery, they will recommend quite quickly reduce meat, eggs, and butter, all of which provide considerable uh, cholesterol into the system. We actually categorize meat in three levels. The lower are the blood meats, the animals. Better would be the birds called poultry, generally white meat. Better yet, seafood, fish. Diet, food is a sensitive topic because we all enjoy it very, very much. But it doesn't take long to see when we are refining our diet, we're eating more moderately, avoiding the extremes of too much and too little. We're becoming more selective to eat nutritious food. It does not take too long where the body starts to demonstrate positive changes. In fact, you are what you eat. Work in this area is up to you. It's at your pace. But if you are interested in increased health, vitality, longevity, by being open-minded to the science of Hatha Yoga and the approach to diet, you will not be disappointed in the results. Mm -hmm.